Okay, so I've got to go back in this here because I didn't put in the audio and uh, this is why it's come up as a new video. So uh, where we want to start on this here, hopefully it'll be a little bit quicker in this here if I get on with it. I want to sketch in this here and I want to sketch on the right plane. And you can see it's picked up that there straight away. And what we're going to be drawing on this here is, I forget now the exact detail of it, so we want to have the inside of the rim. So it's a profile that we're sketching on the inside of the rim. Now, it is, would be difficult to try and redraw this on the inside here in the, in the, on the, the plane. But I'm just going to hit N to go normal too. And then I'm going to pick uh, this command here called intersection. And I've got the, the plane, it's on the right plane already. And I want to show, I want to just click the areas that I want to show up where the intersection is. So just by clicking on them areas, it shows where that plane intersects with that. Now the drawback of this here is that it does it on the bottom as well, uh, which I don't really want. So I just escape that now, click that and drag, and it removes it from the bottom. And now I have the profile drawn here of the inside of the rim, which is great. Uh, my origin, it looks like it's closed off there, so I'll just click it back on here. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to start drawing a couple of lines here. So uh, my line is here. And what I'll do is I'll just draw a vertical line straight up to where it intersects with that. You can see it's halfway. It's got black, so that's all very good there. I'm going to draw another line then somewhere up here. Take it out, go vertical, go at a bit of an angle then as well too on that. And I'll put in a few dimensions here now. Um, dimension this away from the origin 18, the distance out 24, and the distance from that point to the origin make it 60. I want to put this angle in here as 135, doesn't matter where I put it in I suppose. So that there is we've been drawn done so far so what I want to get rid of some of the stuff I don't want I don't want that part of the line I don't want that and I'm just going to oh I can't do that I'll escape that I'll just click and drag over that there and delete that now this has gone uh, blue which means it's not defined which could cause me a bit of bother so I'm going to click it and say that that's vertical so it's added that relation in and that's good now it's in place it's directly in line with the origin <coughs> and where do I want to go from here? I want to have a curved line now from this point. Actually, I, I can't remember now whether I put this in. Click these two points. I want the two of them to be vertical with each other, so in line. And I'm going to pick the spline. I'm going to go from the end of that. I want it to land somewhere in the middle of that. You can see it's a midsection point there. And I can take the scissors back again. I don't really want that tail end there. And I'll escape that. And then I'll just click and drag over the point. And I'll delete that. It's not deleting it for some reason. But anyway, it's not going to affect it, I don't think. Now, there's a, an arm on the the bar of the that adjusts the... Let's see, I'll escape that. That adjusts the spline. If I can get it to move for me here. Yeah. So you see that there, if I drag that out, <coughs> a nice relation to put in here on that arm, if I click it as a vertical one, because it'll take it in nice and square, rectangle, or perpendicular to that end. And this one here, I'd like it to be in line with that angle that's coming out there. So I'm going to pick these two lines now, and I'm going to go parallel. And you see it's taking it out there. Now these next measurements aren't that terribly critical. But I do need to put in a couple of dimensions on it, so I'm going to pick from the origin out as far as that there, and it's sitting at an angle, and I'll go 75 on that, and that should define that bar there. Now the other one, I need to put a dimension from the origin straight up, and I'll just go 135 on that, and that should leave everything there as defined. So now once I have all that there defined, if I take it out to the side, you can see it's shaded. 
So that means that will uh, that is all everything there. There's no gaps in it or anything like that. There should be good to go. And you can see I'm missing my um, axis, so I'll just turn it back on again here. You can see it there now. And I want to revolve that around now. So I'll hit the revolve. It's already picked up on that I want to revolve this here. It's asking me for the axis. Pick the axis. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want it to add it. I want it to be new because then it gives me two parts. And you can see that that's the rim and this is the inside part. And I'll just leave it as that there. And I'm okay in that. So that now has me ready for the next stage. I can turn off my axis again if I want to. And I can do the cuts out of this here part here. So I have two parts, rim and the inside of the rim. I could name it if I wanted to. I don't really, I'm not really bothered because we'll get into the next part. And hopefully that's reasonably quick.